We did some shopping. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Savannah Smiles. So today's video, we are going to be, well, I kind of started this like a week and a half ago and I just got around to filming it because of different stuff going on with my health in regards to my surgery. If you want to see more information about that, I've done a video answering frequently asked questions and I also did another video kind of announcing my surgery and kind of talking about it more from an emotional level. So if you want to hear more about that, go watch those videos, but that's not relevant to this video, so do it after. So today's video, I am actually going to be trying on some clothes for you that my boyfriend picked out for me. And I'm gonna be giving my honest thoughts. So um, this is gonna be interesting because I kinda know what Graham thought I would wear and like what I would have picked out was really different. So let's just jump right into it. The first store that we went to was actually H&M, which I never go shopping at H&M. I know, I know, I know, I know. It just is that typically that store thinks don't fit me right or it's really like a business chic and for something who's really casual, it's just not my vibe. First store is H&M, so let's try on those clothes. Okay, so I got my H&M bag right here. And the first thing in here, uh, right up at the top, is going to be this shirt, which is a brown, and uh, it looks like this. So it kind of looks like something I would throw over another shirt, kind of like a cardigan style thing. So I'm gonna just try that on really quickly. Ugh. There's no way somebody wears this like this, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> There's no way somebody wears this like this. You might hear Bailey, by the way, shifting around through bags because she's Bailey and that's what she does. These buttons are so hard to undo. It's like somebody didn't want them to be undone, but I literally cannot imagine wearing this buttoned. This is definitely meant to be worn unbuttoned. This is way cute, unbuttoned. So maybe like the top button done on sort of deal. Uh, oh gosh, no. So honestly, I would probably never wear this with this top. I do think it could look really, really cute with some of my outfits. I never grab this color because it reminds me of like the early mid 2000s. That being said, I actually think I'm gonna keep it because I like it. I actually think that this was a good choice by Graham, even though it was something I would have never picked out on a shelf for myself. So we have this next one, which is, Okay, it's black, which is always good. It's kind of got a half sleeve here and buttons down the middle. It, I think they're fake buttons. I don't think this is meant to be unbuttoned. So let me try this on for you guys really quick. You know what? This is actually my first time trying it on and when I saw it on the rack, I hated it. But looking at it now, I actually think it's kind of cute. I'm really surprised. I did not like this one at all when you grabbed it off the thing, but I actually think it's really cute, and I think I'm gonna keep this. I thought the sleeve length on it was gonna be really weird on me, but I, I think it's actually pretty cute. I didn't like the combination of the brown buttons with the black shirt. I thought that the sleeve length was really weird, but like now seeing it on, I actually like it. Typically with H&M stuff, and something I don't like with this one is that it does feel that it's slightly longer than my torso is, and that's something that I've typically found to be true of a lot of H&M stores. This one's just just so slight that it's gonna be fine. But anyways, I actually think this one's a keep, so good job, Graham. This is definitely something I never would've picked. So definitely on those two, I think I'm actually gonna keep them. I did not like either of them that he grabbed. I didn't like the color on the first one, and I just all around did not like this one, but I actually think they're both really, really nice. Um, so my total with these come out to, um, so this apparently was $9.99, and the other one was $12.99, bringing my total with tax to $24.90. So actually not too bad for the store. So let's move on to the next store, which is one that I was like, hey, we should stop in there because I like the clothes in there. Which is Hollister. So I got my next bag, Hollister, and like looking in it, because it's been a few days, I forgot what we got. Um, I gotta say with Hollister, it's got some like weird trendy stuff for like early high schoolers that I'm just not really a big fan of. And then there's stuff that I really like there. It generally all fits me really well, but I do know in here there is something that there's no way I'm gonna like. Um, so let's get started with the first one. Um, okay, so the first one that I grabbed pulling out of here is actually this white top 
which now I'm looking at it and it's very similar to this one I'm wearing. I think Graham has a style. So really quick, I'm going to adjust. Okay, so we got this on. Um, got my little size small sticker here. In regards to this shirt, it is very similar to the last one in the regards that it's kind of a shorter sleeve with buttons down the middle, except for this one's white with white buttons. And then it has definitely a shorter sleeve and it's a little bit looser fitting than the other one. Apparently, Graham knew that shirts that button down the middle actually look good on me, which I'm so confused on how he knew because I have exactly one or two shirts that do that and they're both long sleeves. This is definitely his style and what he likes to see. Um, overall, I think I'm gonna keep it. So for the next one on here. Uh, okay, it's a dress and then the other thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this shirt on, but here is the next one. These smackaroonies, which you're not gonna be able to see, but I'm gonna put them on. You can't see these, but I'll put some B-roll over it in a second. But wow. First of all, I hate these so much with a burning passion. I dislike these. They have like a fleece inside, so they aren't only just like this weird latex leather material. And they're ridiculously hard to pull up. They keep falling down. They don't stay up. They don't even have a spot for the belt. I've been told that like leather pants look good on me before. That doesn't mean I like them. I don't like these at all, and I'm really heavily debating um, returning them. We'll see how Graham feels about that, though. Luckily for me, I don't have to keep these on because our next item is this. So let me just, okay, this dress is a whole vibe and I am here for it. I love the pattern, I love this, and when we saw it in there, and I tried to give him no indication at all, I was really hoping he would pick this because I really, really liked it. And the best part of it is, it has pockets! So I love this dress, I'm super happy with this dress, 100% keeping it, I was so hoping he would grab it. So uh, he messed up on the leather pants, but he brought it back home with this. Okay, so I got my receipt right here, and for the shirt, it was $19.95. For those bottoms, it was $34.95. And for this dress, it was $49.95. Oh, but I did have a $5 off coupon on all of this. So with that, and then you add in tax, and then I did a cherry roundup, it came to $109. So definitely between H&M and Hollister, they're definitely Price-wise, H&M is a lot better. Graham didn't grab anything from clearance and at H&M he did, so that definitely contributes to some of the price difference, but even still, Hollister can be definitely way more expensive than H&M. Now between the two bags that Graham picked for me, I liked H&M better, but um, typically I will spend a little bit more for Hollister because I know I'm gonna like it a little bit more, but oh my goodness, I just can't stop looking at this dress. I love it. So let's move on to the next and final store, which is Windsor. Let's see, I know that he picked out a full outfit in here, so let me try to find this. So we have, as part of this outfit, we have, have this top, and then we have this skirt that goes with it. So let me just, whew, okay. So um, definitely with this, this is, Absolutely adorable. I never would have picked out this bodysuit for myself because I would have never had the confidence But I'm really glad you did because I actually really like this top additionally the skirt that he chose to go with it I have had such an issue wearing skirts because I got made fun of it for it a little bit because I used to like to wear Skirts in like high school and this is like before skirts came back into style and uh, I can remember like one specific little incident with a friend's mom Commenting and kind of making fun like oh where are you gonna go so fancy the library and I totally just after that stopped wearing skirts entirely. I do like this skirt a lot. I feel like if he hadn't forced me to get another skirt, I probably never would have done it again, so I really appreciate him doing that. I don't think he specifically knew that story, but I thought it was actually just kind of fun. He pushed me outside of my comfort zone in a spot that I'd been kind of thinking about going for a while. Love this outfit, definitely keeping it. 
And then for the last thing, uh, this is gonna be off camera for you guys, but I got these shorts. So I actually like this one. He knows that I like kind of like comfy short things. These are a lot more fancy than something I would typically choose, but I still really, really like them. But if we're going out someplace a little bit nicer, I'll be able to get them on. So I'm super excited about that, especially with the upcoming surgery. They're a little bit fancier than something I typically go for, but kind of fun to be pushed outside my comfort zone a little bit like this. Definitely gonna keep it. All right, so let's do the total. This skirt was $24.90. The top was $26.90 and the shorts were $32.90 coming to a total with tax of $91.80. Oh my gosh, I feel like this one was worse than Hollister. Definitely planning on keeping all the stuff from Windsor. It definitely pushed me out of my covering zone just a little bit, but it was probably a necessary push that I need. So let's total everything up. $24.90 from H&M plus the $109 from Hollister plus the $91.80 from Windsor equals $225.70. So we did some damage. Graham definitely felt bad after the two stores, especially Hollister and Windsor. I definitely think Graham picked out some things that were really good style choices for me and pushed me outside my comfort zone. I guess it was just like a weird one-off thing with those leather pants because, oh my gosh, are they hideous. They look like latex. It's <laughs> it's actually horrible. But besides that, he did a really, really good job. And I'm actually really excited to start wearing some of these things. Overall, pretty excited about these clothes. Actually really, really impressed by Graham's style taste. And I definitely want to do this again with him because I kind of feel like my wardrobe got a little bit of a revamp I wasn't expecting. Well, anyways, with that said, it is time for me to end the video. So don't forget to smash the YouTube algorithm for the like button. Don't forget to comment down below and let me know what your favorite piece was. Don't forget to add me on Instagram. That is the top link in the description. And don't forget 